Okay, this is a game. I don't know how old it is, to be honest with you, but it very recently, and by recently I mean pretty much today, got uh, put to Steam, and it has English language, and I don't know anything about it, but it seems to be an RPG where you play as three fairies of light, and looks nice, looks cool, looks good, and I wanted to try it sooner rather than later. Maybe starting another RPG is not a good idea. We'll deal with the consequences of that later. It's called Three Fairies Hoppin' Flappin' Great Journey. <laughs> really, really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Okay, so, now watch. Okay. Okay, so, I want you to understand right now that the, the E in English is being cut off. That's not because my crop is incorrect, it's just the window that's doing that. So we are going to be playing in English, all right? Oh. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, Luna. <laughs> Three fairies, all right. Hopping, flapping, great journey. They're, they're, they're hopping. They're hopping. Oh, you did. Oh, no. A, B, C, start. We can keep that the way it is. Okay. I'm ready to go. Forest Three Fairies House. It is now currently... Press Z or B to continue. Okay. It's already past midnight and I can't sleep at all. Anyway, today is X day. Let's do it. <laughs> they, they really do be hopping. Sunny? Luna? Wait, where are the guys? I guess they must still be in school. Oh, well, let's see how they're doing. School? It's midnight! How to move the character. Due to the specifications of the viewpoint, the direction of movement is slanted, but you'll get used to it soon. That's... That's false? That's false. I will never get used to this. Ever. Because I didn't get used to it for the Satori game, and I ate shit for it. Every time. Every goddamn time. I'm... Oh, God, please. I understand it's a stylistic choice. I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it, <laughs> when it when it push comes to shove and I have to do this in like a, a situation, a high pressure situation, I'm gonna fuck it up. You can read a signboard by looking towards it. A button icon will appear when looking towards an object. You can examine the object with A. The notice says school forest. You got a pin. Okay. This is a save point. There is also heals HP and MP. HP and MP fully restored. 32 save slots? This is a save screen. <laughs> you got a pin. Save is important. Alright. I can do it. Just rotate the controller? Hold on. Hold on. You might be onto something. Nope. Nope. Wait. Wait. You're a genius. You're a genius. <laughs> School is not this way. Let's check out the sign. <laughs> Why did that work? I mean, I can't hit the buttons, but I can, you know, I can move. Whoa, never seen an enemy looking that weak. Why don't we do a little warm-up before the operation? The battle begins when you touch an enemy on the field. Let's have a battle right away. Jitomi slime. All right. Battle with enemy. The battle proceeds in real time after selecting the command. You can do action when the gauge accumulated fully. Oh, yes. Let's beat the enemy by attack. Select attack to attack the enemy. Characters can act when the gauge is full. But you can't attack yourself, but it's on the menu. And then you wait. We are winner. Victory. Beated all enemies. <laughs> <laughs>
Enemies defeated. To left. I got it, I got this. See, I, I know how to move now because I just have to rotate my controller. You are a winner! So chat, we have two new emotes, as you, as you know. We have, uh... We have, a uh, Cowboy. Because... Well, why not? <laughs> and we have, uh... We have... What's her name? Merlin. With a dude horn. A.K.A. the trumpet. I'm sure that one will come in handy in the future. Because... <laughs> Trumpets are a big part of this series. Uh, there's another one in the works as well that uh, I'm hoping hoping is be done soon. We'll see how that one turns out. I hope I want to see how that one goes because I uh, <laughs> I had the idea like uh, yesterday or the day before at night. And I was just like, all right, I'm gonna run this by you real quick before I forget because uh, you need to know and then. Yeah, so I, I gave him, I gave Soros the idea. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how it turns out. I got some, uh, <laughs> I got some expectations for it, I suppose. I hope, I hope it'll be good. I hope Chat can appreciate it. But we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I like the Saki emote quite a bit. Because the, the thing about the Saki emote is it, the, the expression. Search up, search up the sad emoji, and then look at the emote. It's it's pretty fucking accurate to the face, and bonus points because it is a cowboy, so she can both express her sadness and that she is also a cowboy, and that that is the ultimate emote. Honestly, I'm not I'm not just not really sure why that emote doesn't exist yet. Just give me a cowboy variant of every emote, and we're good to go. You got a pin played for five minutes. Is that so? All right. I don't think these guys can attack. <laughs> All about stupid emotes here. <laughs> Fatal attack. I'm getting a lot of chivos. Wait, why is it 2.40 a.m.? Save again. It's 2.40... Time is flying by. Why are they still at school? It's 2 in the morning. The signboard on the field basically says useful things. There is no such thing as a game over if you read it. So it's a good idea to read signs if you find them. That is a very interesting way to phrase that. There's no such thing as a game over if you read it. In other words, it will not kill you to read the sign. I feel like that's the idea they're trying to go with here. The menu can be open with start. At first, there are only settings. Eventually, you'll be able to do various things. Settings. BGM. Sound effects. Crank. Crank! Sequent move, how many frames needed for sequential movement, draw frame rate, blue light cut, screen mode, arrow, text speed, battle, cursor, memory, keep tactics, rapid transition. Ch Jesus, that's a lot of stuff. Status? You're looking great. Settings? Important note. Hint. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's, one at a time, one at a time. You can check the contents of the tutorials at any time by important note screen. Check it when you miss or forget. If the battle progresses too fast or too slow, change battle speed settings in battle speed. Okay. I didn't expect it to be a literal, like, a literal title. Hop and Fairy Adventure. Oh, god damn it. Alright. Even if you can't go now, if you get something new, you may be able to go there someday. It's a very inspirational signpost. Got to school. I need to find Sunny and Luna. Aren't they Sunny and Luna over there? Sunny? Luna? Star? What's up at this time? Why are you guys here at 3 in the morning? Well, I feel that's my line. Oops, our test grades were hella bad. Can't go home until I can get 80. I I can't picture Sunny saying a bad word like that. But at the same time, out of all three of these characters, she is the one that I would expect to say the word hella. We tried really hard, but today's two four hours run a bit faster. What the fuck? So now you guys are kicked out. My score was getting higher, whereas Sunny was getting lower, so... By the way, how did you need me? You got kicked out of school? I'm just guessing, but picked us up because you worry about us. Well, okay, you're right. 
By the way, today is the Great Greater Greatest Operation Day. Operation entitled Greatest Revenge Against Chirno. What? Greatest Review Chirno? Are we gonna help us in studying? I don't wanna. Not even close. This story rewinds to last summer. Due to missing homeworks, Chirno was close to fail to go to next grade. Then she was about to stole friends HW somehow. I'd like to remind you that the text is... The text is like machine translated and put together and... Well, I have a feeling the translation probably could have been handled a little bit better. But like, I can still figure out what's going on. So I'll, I'll give it a pass for now. But this is definitely... This is definitely an element of the game that if you're going to charge people money for, should probably be fixed. <laughs> So, I finally took action. So basically, I'm hella sleepy, wanna go home. In short, I do want to get back at her. Where's Cherno, by the way? Oh, wait. You guys are two of a kind. Lol? Lol? Huh? Chat, do you... Do you think of you to yourself with? <laughs> do you think to yourself in uh, in acronyms? <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've ever thought of. I don't think I've ever thought that in my head before. <laughs> really? Sometimes? Nope. Can't say I've ever, ever done that. If I, I don't think. You got a pin, taking a break. No, 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 I'm not taking a break. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. All right, why don't we explore a school? We should know her spring holiday plans. Gocha. I'm not sure, but I guess her classroom was in the second. No, no, the ground, first floor. What the, what's the hell star today? You okay? Let's go. I miss my home. From here on, the three fairies will act together. It's finally becoming more like an RPG. How have I taken 500 steps? How have I taken 500 steps? Alright. And there goes my granola. And I paid good money for this shit. Alright, whatever. Alright! So the game is probably gonna tell me to go into the school. School, school gate. Or not. Oh, okay, there's just a wall. That's fine, just a box. Just a box. Let's go straight down. The classroom is over there. Nobody's here. It's already spring vacation. This is a big ass school. How many students has Kane got? I don't think I can do anything. I can't. This door is locked. Fairies are just small. In that case, that doorway, who's... It's like fitting for a fairy then. I'm gonna save just in case. Ow! Teleporter room, stop using it for play. For your safety, keep the teleportation room tidy and free of unnecessary items. This is the teleporter. Once find other one, it seems we can teleport. Well, ain't that just the height of convenience? I didn't know Gensokyo had anything like that. Bro, there's a teleporter in the goddamn school. Why am I walking here every day? Huh? What fool is walking here every day when that- what? Cherno classroom is on far end. I can see something like display, like, looks like school festival. Now this is some- this is some great Fairy Wars music. In this classroom, tutorials on items are held, although it's completely self-service. The treasure chest here contains healing items. During the battle, use items from item and try to recover. Healing is the basis of battle. Small potions, 25? You got the thing. <laughs> Great. It gave me 25. 
how to use item. You can heal members by item command during the battle, although items were cons consumed when used. Don't hesitate to use them because you may get a lot. That motherfucker just did like half my HP. Well, the potion got used. Disappeared. Okay. Alright, I got it. I like how bouncy they are. <laughs> Wow. Very good. And there was a crystal right here the whole time. Game over when all members are knocked out. You will respond from the place where you last saved. Item magic was obtained. Item menu item where we can use items magic. Healing can be done not only during battle, but also from menu screen. Open the gorgeous gold treasure chest there, and you'll get new menu items. Only some healing items can be used in menu. You what? Wait. Are you telling me I just unlocked a menu option out of a chest? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Ever. Alright. I have nothing to fear. See, we're good to go. You're... Dude. She fucking died in one hit. She didn't get any XP. She's dead. <laughs> she, just, she just took her entire health bar from it. Tutorial my ass. It's alright, she's back. Did 50 to star and then Luna just died. Why do you insist on killing her? Alright. And there you go. Amazing. Phoenix Tail, 10 more obtained, revive with 50% max HP. When members' HP becomes zero, they would be knocked out. If they can be revived with Phoenix Tail, however, knocked out party members will automatically... Knocked out party... Knocked out members will be automatically revived at one HP after the battle. Okay. So, in other words, Luna just got whacked so they could explain a point to me. But in actuality, I just lost free EXP for Luna, which means Luna's gonna be underleveled. Ah, oh, yes. Here is the tutorial on the beginning and end of battle. Sometimes escaping is a good idea. If you escape from the battle, you will not encounter it for a certain t time. Go through while taking opportunity. Copy paper. It has six, uh, 65,000... What the way? You can keep in mind it takes some time to conduct escape. Run. 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 Do you see how much HP it has? It has the... Shame, but useful. And slipped. That thing has about as much HP as Willamette has a population. That's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. Oh, I'm dead. Never mind. No, 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 no. We're good. Bye-bye. Luna fell. Now watch as I go, 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 go. Some enemies start a battle by A button in the same way as examining object. These battles and boss battles are almost always strong. If you see this, be sure to save. Almost always strong? Are you telling me that there's a few bosses in this game that are deliberately not strong? Uh, uh. Take over level and resume from save point. 
Game over. These battles and boss battles are almost... If you see this, be sure to save. Uh, can I, like, run? What? You just want me to die. The... The entire point of that tutorial is that it wants me to die. Whatever's in that chest is... Illegal. Wait, was this always open? Hmm. Let's have a practical tutorial on steps and blind spots. This is the end of the tutorial, so let's do our best. Most fairies cannot jump over three steps. You can get off at any number of steps, so it may be a one-way street. Be careful about this. Watch your steps. Okay. Nope. Blind spots may occur due to the perspective. There is no function to change perspectives in this game. Be careful when moving on to the blind spots. Oh, I hate warnings like that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sometimes you can't see shit, Captain. And you're just gonna have to deal. Case in point. Well, there's a chest there. Step 1000. I am making great strides in fairy community right now. Here is... Chirno's classroom. Her diary might be left somewhere. Almost went awry, though. We made it somehow. Find it out and let's see it. It's in the garbage. Never mind, there is suspicious goo in the garbage. Small potion. Okay. Yeah, I'm having a real time and a half trying to figure out the controls because I... The D-pad is, like, currently an X instead of a D-pad. Cherno's diary was obtained. Cherno's plan during spring vacation is noted. Cherno's homework this is. Let me see. What's inside? You can check the details of the item from collection item on the menu screen start. Let's check details for Cherno's diary. Okay. No item found. Collection. Record. No. There are new pins. Pen- um, I'm not reading that. Gallery. Appreciation. I can scroll! What was that chestnut? Big chestnut mouth. <laughs> the character art is actually pretty goddamn good. Enemy. No. Equip. Oh, that's curiosity. No. No, I'm good. I'm trying to find Cherno's diary. There it is. Cherno's plan during spring vacation is noted. I'm going to spend a leisurely life, leisurely life bringing frozen foods into the cave. It has a rank of S. Why can I rotate... Why is there a 3D rotate feature for a 2D image? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is so unnecessary. <laughs> wow. Cherno might be in a cave. The way to cave is going through the forest and climbing the mountain. I've taken a walk around there. I surely think we won't get lost. All right, let's go now. For now, across our house first and go east all the way. Drowsy. It's okay bringing diary out, BTW. It's currently 9 a.m. Come <laughs> with me, Bart. <laughs> good, 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 good. What's next? What comes next? What comes next? From here on, a tutorial on tactic system will be held. You can resume main story without visiting here. Waste paper, 12 were obtained. Mass of paper that was unnecessary to someone. So it was unnecessary to someone, so we've decided that it's necessary for me. Tutorial, give me the tutorial. 
Hold on, I have to collect more waste paper. Oh no. From now on, a tutorial of taxi system is held. It's not so difficult. So let's start anyway. Okay. You can customize tactics and tactics screen and menu. You can also do in pause screen during battle. Pause menu options, open start. Boxen. What is tactics? Prepare commands such as if X, do X in advance. I'm not, I'm not ready for this. Such commands are high performance tools that enable you to battle efficiently. It can be customized in the menu screen or paused during that battle. The tactics let us attack single mindedly. You always attack the random enemies until you defeat it. Now this tactic is set to all members. You can execute tactics by command tactics. Tactics force control individually. Once you start tactics, characters automatically. What? Hold on a moment. What are my tactics? Oh, I can do. Okay. Random enemy attack. Random enemy attack. Give up. Finish the battle as game over. What? Tactics one. Tactics one. How do I stop it? I guess I could just make them st stop on their own. Tactics sounds like auto battle. I can basically script my own auto battle. Just only attack entirely is not a strategy. Next, let's set up a tactic to recover as needed. True value of tactics will be demonstrated from now on. All right. The tactics let us attacks and heal when a friend's HP is low. Tactics is judged following the arrow. If there is a member with less than 50% HP, heal the member. If there is no such member, attack the enemy. Okay. Go with the tactics plan. Do they just all use a potion? Well, it doesn't help when all three of them use a potion, you dum dum. Did I use. Did I lose six potions? No, 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 no. Did I lose six potions? I don't know how many I had to begin with. I currently have 46, so maybe I didn't lose that much at all, but. Everyone trying to use a potion like that was not my idea of a smart tactic. So I have 46. Rem remember that. 46 potions. This tactic lets us survive members when needed. In tactics, random friend, you don't execute action if the action is apparently invalid. How convenient. Luna died. Luna's back. Why is it always Luna who gets shafted? What's up with that? What did she do to deserve that? She's just trying to live her best life and every every goddamn time a tutorial slime comes up and decks her, she's just down for the count. Finally, I will explain the conditional branch. It looks difficult at a glance, but if you take advantage of this, the range of tactics will expand. Okay. Your range of tactics is broadened with conditional branch. You can switch to conditional branch with red SW. What? In the yellow conditional branch block who can do action fastest heals by blue arrow. Otherwise, members who are not fastest or there is nobody to heal. They attack enemy by the red arrow. Oh. What?
Highest speed. If highest speed and HP is below 50, heal. If not, random attack. I guess that's the that corrects the issue I was having earlier where all three of them were were doing the do. All right. Yes. It does. Yes, it does. Okay. That's pretty smart. That's a very, it's a smart convenience system. You got a pin. Ding. That's not a very effective level up. Dude, look at the skew on this stat. I have 90 HP, 46 attack, 0 defense, and 199 speed. How, how fast do I need to be in this world? How is 199 speed a level 1 stat? Because... I, well, I mean, I, you know, I don't really know how stats work in this world, but that seems like a pretty high number to apply to a level one character. <laughs> She's so fast, but she also has literally zero defense, <laughs> which means, well, what does that mean, actually? Oh, what's in here? You got the basics of the tactic system. In this world, there are tons of tactics options, such as highest speed and random enemy. A brief explanation is a sign near the treasure chest. However, the best way to master it is to try it out. You can select target with highest, lowest, XX enemy. You can concentrate on enemy you want to defeat. Highest HP enemy was obtained. Highest max HP enemy. Lowest HP enemy and lowest max HP. Okay, so you can target the enemy who has the highest max HP. Or you can target the enemy who has the highest or lowest current HP. I see, I get it. HP... Fuck. Chad, I don't remember my alligator tech. This is one of those things I can't remember whenever I see this. I can't remember if this is a greater than or less than. This is less than. Because the, the it, it eats it eats the bigger one, right? I, I honestly can't remember this. No matter how many times you tell me, I, I don't know. Same with the, the word effect. I don't know when to properly use the word effect. <laughs> Played for 30 minutes, so you can call it that if you want. Adjust the value depending on the situation. HP is, was obtained. Select target by current HP percentage. Wait. Is that a healing command? That's probably a healing command, yeah, if their HP is... I don't really understand how that works. If HP is less than 90%, target them. Okay. As the name suggests, XX character allows you to organize tactics targeting specific characters. If you set HP, HP less than 50% and yourself, you can use only healing items yourself. Sunny Luna Star was selected as a specific target. Highest or lowest XX is the same as the previous one. It is better to set it all characters than to one. Highest HP, judge from current state. Highest max HP, judge from current state. What do you mean judge from current state? Wasn't the other one just current state? What? HP less than what uh, XX percent does not need to be explained. Just keep in mind that it's about your own HP. I don't understand the difference between what I just picked up and what I picked up a second ago. Judging? Acting? What? Alright. Very well. Very well. Wait, where am I? Have I been here before? I have. I think. Oh. Oh, I see. I get it. I understand. Teacher's staff room, staff only. Uh, if we enter the staff room without permission, it will be troublesome. Well, we've been here for 12 hours. I think we're already in trouble. Shop, please note that the line varies considerably depending on the season. Whoa, we have a variety of tactics options for practice. Just items. Accessory slot plus one. 100,000 quid. Sonny, how much you got? Zero? Luna, how about you? Zero? 
Hmm. I only got seven. Judge from current turns. Let's well, just make my brain go numb. Yeah. This vending machine is broken. Good. Maybe I'll figure it out better when I'm actually... I'm not tired, but right now... This is definitely one of those things where that I, I need to do it. To figure it out. But I, I currently can't do it. But they're just... They're dropped. They're, they're info-bombing me and I'm not ready for it. From here on, I can get rid of the desk blocking the way. Thank you, Sunny. I haven't said anything yet. Sunny is the right person for this, cause she she always carries it around. That's as a punishment for mischief. Anyway, Sunny, who has the most experience and achievements in carrying desks, should do it. Rather, shouldn't people who have no experience do it? People say that put the right person in the right place. Each has its own strengths. I'm done with moving desks. Thank you, Luna. For those, yeah, for those of you that don't know, the, the, uh, Star gets away with a lot of not work with these three. We should go to the teleporter room just in case, alright. Like, whenever the three fairies have to do something, Star will hang out in the back out of their line of sight and pretend to assist them, but she'll just, like, g like gleefully walk along and not actually offer an iota of help. It's kind of adorable. But at the same time, God damn it, Star, help! Why am I in here? We should go to the teleporter room just in case. Why? They stole the sake jar from Raymo. Yeah, they were- Luna and Sunny were carrying it. And Star was just like, alright, we got this from behind. <laughs> to register it? Well, I already had it, right? So this is a system in a Final Fantasy game, huh? So, okay, so people are probably familiar with what's going on here, but... Uh, right now I'm not. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Guess I want to come back, probably. True, but why wouldn't I explore that room and check it out, right? Huh? That enemy wasn't here at the moment. Well, it has been 12 hours. Well, we can just hack and slash. I didn't realize the fairies were so goddamn violent. Chop him up, chop him up, chop him up. Bang, bang, bang. Slime gel. Roughly speaking, it is a content of the slime. Slime soul. Slime souls, which all alimes have. 45 small potions? Huh? Why do you have so many potions? Where did all my other items go? The tutorial took them. I should have sold them. I didn't, the tutorial took their items back. I should have fucking sold them. 45, dude. Hold on, hold on, let me... Tactics, Sunny. Random friend, Phoenix Tail. Go down to higher speed. Select specific target. Attack. Uh, target object friend. Remove item. Random enemy. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Oh. Yeah. Why, why remove the Phoenix Tail option? I like when my characters are revived, then they die. Yeah, they're not, he's not just gonna try and cast it on a living being. I also currently don't have any. Because the game took them back. 
46 small potions. Hold on. I'm... I don't understand. Okay, I think I'm getting one potion, and it's just giving me the total amount of potions I have, which is incredibly confusing. I thought that fucker dropped 45 potions. I was like, oh god. Yeah, I don't want total. How do I... View. I don't want to look at this. How do I change that? We'll just do this first. There's a button there. Huh? Press num B to change. Oh. Nice. I have solved the mystery. I didn't even notice the others got a level up. If an enemy dropped 45 potions on the ground, I would be led to believe that everything in this game is capable of killing me in a single hit. So I like that, uh, you know, Luna attacks with the power of the moon, Star attacks with a star, and, uh, Sunny attacks with a, a rocket punch. She's got a... she's got a boxing glove bazooka. Because when I think of Sunny Milk's abilities, I think of... a boxing glove bazooka. <laughs> Seriously, what? <laughs> Why does she attack with that? Why can't she hit them with the power of the sun? Am I the one in the wrong here? I don't know if this makes perfect sense at all. I'm quite confused, actually. Oh yeah, if I have to fight a real character, I'm dead. Fairies can't fight. Why do you think I'm fighting with a boxing glove cannon? So I guess going off their stats... Level three. Sunny, Sunny's fast. Has no MP. Luna's frail, low HP. And then I guess Star is either balanced, or she's supposed to be like the, the defensive unit. I don't really know because they're level three. But obviously, wow, that was that was great. Why do they all die instantly? All right, sure. Star is the main character. That's bullshit. Sunny Milk is the leader. It's in her name. Hey, do you have a second? What's up, Sunny? I want to go home. Not, but yes, you know. Nobody knows what will happen to our adventure, isn't it? So how about going home first? To fit us out. Oh, there goes my neck. Oh. Ah, very good. I agree with you. You're right, Sonny. We need to rest. Okie dokie. Anyway, let's go home. Well, it, it is only 6 p.m. I have to wonder why the game started me at midnight. If it started me at a morning time, that would have been way easier. Go home to fit us out first. No, I want to go touch the teleport crystal so I can save time. Want to sleep in my room. Well, maybe there is something in my room. Let me see. Absolutely. Yeah, come on in. I have a rainbow bookshelf. I wonder if there is something convenient. And she's out. Sunny? Ew. You- Ew! You fell asleep. What do you mean, ew? That's just rude. There's Sunny's clothes. They're slightly different. Every clothes look pretty. I know that this is femininity. The Midgard book mentioned that. Okay. Sun Sunny also has these kind of clothes. What? Oops, you don't notice? What kind of clothes? What kind of clothes? 
Book of Math homework was obtained. Max HP plus 25. EXP plus... Oh, Jesus. 3%. Book of English homework. Book of GameSoft. EXP plus 10. I'm giving that to Luna. There's nothing I can do with books alone. Where's Materia? Chat, did that say Materia or Material? You have some ni something nice stuff in your room, Luna? Go ahead, you can use it. I choose to believe it said Materia. Thanks. Did you find something? Yep, wait a second. Here's Luna's cloth, a ton of ribbons. She often falls over and drops the ribbons. Oh. Poor her. Weekly Gazette cover story, Dark Side of Shrine Business. Ear pressure points for curing illness. Expedia, expedia, ex I Expedited? I illustrated Series 8 Moon. I seriously can't understand a trend. Well, she likes the moon. It's a big moon decoration, which looks like I can sit on. Why do you have three rocks in your room? Blue card. Light blue color paper with moderate strength. White paper. Commonly found in school. CD. Compact disc. Shining in rainbow colors. All set. Come to my room. Can you come, Luna? Luna? Whatever, I prepare for my adventure in my room. No, go back, I want to raid her other chests. No, oh, toolbox is... Cool. It's a cool box. Let's synthesize the materials. Make sure you're ready before you leave. I am ready. Once you get the book, you can make new equipment. Select composition from menu. Axe column. Select the item and number to compose. Gray items cannot be composed due to lack of materia. Revive mush. Red mush. You got mush. I wonder if I can grow mushrooms soon. Well, if I defeat an enemy outside, it will grow soon. That, that, that makes sense. That uh, makes sense. Living with Mushrooms Revised 7th Edition. Mushroom is bonsai. Expedi expedited... Fuck that word. Illustrated Series 9, Mushroom. This bookshelf has a lot of books about mushrooms. I just don't understand the trends. Fairies that are like slash fairies that are not liked. Living with Mushrooms Revised 6th Edition. Smart fairies wear huge ribbons. I wonder if I buy latest edition of Live Mush. Okay. Have I... Have I succeeded? Select composition axe. No item found. No item found. No item found. Axe. So I need... I can make one math homework. Okay. You got a pin, composed physical. And then I need a... Oh, I can make math homework plus with another blue card. Oh, I see. I totally understand. How do I equip it? How do I give it to you? What? Item. No. No. Tactics? Composition? No. Synthesis death foot. Let's G. Oops, I need to equip that. Equip the accessory. I was trying. <laughs> Next, let's equip the accessories. You have to just compose. You can select equip from equipped in the menu. Chat, that, that option wasn't there a second ago, right? I, I'm not crazy. Select place you want to change and select new equipment. Equipment is classified into head, shoulders, knees, and toes. When you equip the accessories, you can gain a little effect. I, this menu option was not here. There's no way I missed it. Here, I want... Drop rate times 0.1. Crit rate damage plus 30%, EXP plus 5%, math homework. Equipped it here. I'm giving Luna math homework. You 
guys successed to equipped? Sunny, Luna, what do you think Luna's gonna say when she wakes up and she's holding my math homework? Mumbling. It's time to get up. It's eight at night. What, it's already morning? Far from it. What, it's, it's already night? Yes, actually. Luna, you are up even at noon. I'm ready. Go to the cave. Wake up! Luna, what's up? How are you? Yep, not bad, but I'm tired. So, uh, can I rest until 6 p.m.? Sure. Okay, let's have a good rest. Luna, did you really need 22 hours of sleep? Feeling better? Reiwa, the Japanese character is framed. I have no idea what this is for. How to play, hold here and rotate the iron block. The iron block is spinning, is this fun? I don't understand. Something is written on the card. There is plus four written in the corner, but I don't know this either. Oh, that's a plus two moment. Sunny, Sunny help. Sonny, how's going? Yeah, fine. If you don't mind, can I have a rest until 6 a.m.? No. Spartan. <laughs> Maybe some other time. I can't help it. You fairies. Stop. Make it stop. <laughs> Make it. Hold on, I got it. I <laughs> got it, I'll fix it. Oh, it's... Oh. We got it. We got it, we got it. We got it, the band is back together. Killer B. Easy. Watch this. Dead. How did it not die? Well, at least my attacks defaulted to the other one. I got a sharp needle, a clean wing, needle at the tail of a bee. Why are we fighting bees? Why did I come out here at night anyway? It had 2 HP, which just means I win now, right? Action times 100. Just give me another level and we can be on our way. Bad stacks. What? I wonder if there is anything. Wow, what? Don't tell me I'm fighting a tree. Well, I'm fighting the bee in the tree, not the tree itself. <laughs> Neat. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I, I did exactly. Wow, what? Oh my gosh. Don't. Do it again. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. One HP, critical baby. They give a lot of EXP, so it's not... It's not really that bad. Wow, what? Oh my gosh. I like when I crash into them, we both explode. Amazing. And now we watch the battle unfold. Ding, 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 ding. Maybe I should use some potions, but the thing is, I only have like 57 potions. I don't know if I can really spare them. You gotta, you gotta think about your potion usage. When you have so few, you're never really sure which ones you can spare, right? Kill the bee. Kill the bee. I might need those potions later. You don't know that. Why use them when I can simply not? 
right? It's a finite resource. There's no way to get more once I lose all of them. I'm gonna destroy the entire bee population. Tiny button. So tiny it was lost very easily. How do you lose two buttons inside a treasure chest on the side of the road, huh? I you, ne I, you never know when you're gonna need. Potion, star sapphire. Can we? There we go. You know, I might like, I might like, after I beat a game, I might, I might boot it back up and then do the extra content that doesn't exist. I might need my potions for that, you know? And when I beat that, you know, I still can't use my potions because I might, I might come back to the game later and I might need them there as well. Items are meant to be collected, not used. True. This is indeed the problem I have. I am a hoarder. Blue card, A4 paper. Good. The more things you give me to collect, the more I will collect them. Except collectibles. Like that. Materials, I hate gathering materials. But I love collecting and not using stuff that I should use. Forest, small hill. Use items in battle. No. No, I don't think I will. So, anyone have a general time estimate for how long this game is? Because, uh, it only took up 41 megabytes of space for installation, which I'm honestly pretty impressed with. That was kind of small. Levels go up to 300. That scares me. That's a scary number. Alright, Chief Slime is dead. Ding, ding, ding. He managed to get a hit in, though, before he went down. There you go. There you go. I'm not even sure how much these potions heal, but it seems to be my entire HP at the moment. And I got five more. There you go. Why did I do that? There's a fucking crystal right here. Please, please forgive my brain. All right, brain is not all there right now. Okay, just, just cut me, cut me some slack. Just cut me some slack. Let me play the video game, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, gonna, good, you can do it. Excellent. Very good. Beginner class. I'm level five. Yeah, the game is pretty small in file size. You know, I don't that doesn't I don't think that necessarily means it's a short game. But like that's it's pretty smaller than I thought it would be, I suppose. And if the levels go to 300, that makes me wonder just how long it goes. JRPGs are surprisingly similar for programming perspective, so it's quite likely just very well optimized. See, I don't actually know much about optimization of code and whatnot because I don't know anything about that kind of thing. But the only example I can give you is that, like, when something is unoptimized, you, you get situations like Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty is, a uh, Call of Duty, the latest Call of Duty is pretty much... It's, it's an extremely large file size because... Not because the game is, like, huge necessarily, but because the coding is just... It's just a poorly optimized game, so it just needs more space. It just uses more space than it needs. How- chat, did anyone ever, like, look into, like, that before? I'm just curious, because I know, like, Call of Duty has these massive gigabyte patches. Book of Yin Yang Ball was obtained. Cool. But has anyone ever figured out what, like, the- if they optimize the coding for the game? what the what the max amount of like disk space it would use would be most size probably goes to graphics yeah yeah you're right i know i mean if you've ever if you've ever played a game if you ever played a current generation game and you went to your graphic settings the resident evil games have it you can kind of you can fuck around with there and kind of see your your pc's limitations right and then usually as soon as you up the graphics 
You up the graphics and your your graphics card is like I can't I can't do it. P please put put me out of my misery. Your graphics card is like Tobey Maguire holding on to the train in Spider-Man 2. He's just trying so hard to keep that shit from just fucking trunking itself. I said A button. Tiny button. Nice. Forest slash Slimes Park. Like, pretty sure Doom Eternal was the latest game to really challenge hardware. But, you know, I bought this computer and I got a... Uh, I got the second best graphics card on the market at the time. I don't remember which one that is. If you ask me what my graphics card is, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But it's definitely not the new one that everyone wanted. But I, you know, I figured I'd get one that was A, like, good, just in case, but not, like... The other option for the graphics card, the better one, was probably about a thousand dollars more than the one I ended up getting. And the PC was already pretty expensive to begin with, so I was like, I don't think I'm gonna need that much, like, support, graphics-wise. And considering the games I play, that was a wise investment. I don't play AAA games with these crazy graphic settings. This graphics card is completely capable of handling everything I play. I, I probably wouldn't be able to play Doom on the highest settings, but I don't play Doom, and I don't really need the highest settings. Doom Eternal caused my PC to crash. <laughs> yeah, good figures. <laughs> You need, you need some high specs to run that shit. It's kind of impressive, really. So do you think if you tried to run Doom Eternal on max settings on a gaming laptop, what do you think would happen? Now, the, uh, the obvious and by virtue of obvious less fun answer is it doesn't. The other funnier and therefore more accepted answer is your laptop catches on fire. And then it starts making its own Doom music with its runtime errors. That is the- that's the funny answer. That's the answer you have to give when you're- when you're, uh, you know, you're, you're making content, right? That's- that's the one that gets the giggles. The hee hee, the ha ha's, the lol in chat. That's what you're after, right? You're not after rational explanations. You're after... What the fuck am I talking about? Anyway, my point is, Doom Eternal on a gaming laptop probably wouldn't ever happen. That said, didn't Doom Eternal come out on Switch? I used to have, you know, I used to use a laptop a lot. And yeah, it would, I didn't, I never liked putting it on my lap because sometimes it got hot. And in the summertime when it was already hot and I'm wearing shorts, it's like, oh great. Nice leg, fry an egg. But now, I, you know, the tower is great because it just sits there and I stare at it and I think, wow, if I drop you, I'm just, I'm just out of a lot of money. And that makes me incredibly fearful to touch my <laughs> tower. The thought of dropping it on the ground makes me terrified to touch it. Doom Eternal is on Switch. How, how is it? Did anyone played it? World map was obtained. Yo, really? Just give me that. But that would be an important item, right? Oh no, it's here. Ability to get lost. That's a... <laughs> That's kind of a passive-aggressive uh, achievement. Congratulations! You've now obtained the ability to get lost. Like, just beat it. Alright, touch grass while you're at it. You can see your current location on the world map. The position of save point teleport is also recorded to make good use of it when you get lost. Radio. The switch port is actually pretty good, but I haven't tried it because it's a mouse game for me. It gets called an impossible port. So you're telling me it actually runs pretty good? Uh, but how much, uh, how much quality settings does it... Why did I just get an achievement for a perfect number? What? What, uh, how, how much of the, how, what are the quality options like for it? Cause you know, I'm not gonna diss the Switch, but it's, it's no secret that the Switch does not have the, the same, like, power as PS4 and, or PS5, or P, well even PS4 and, uh, Xbox One, right? Switch does its best. I think still Switch has some pretty looking games on it anyway. But I also think that uh, just I just don't really care for 4K graphics because in 
in the grand race for beautiful graphics, they left behind the gameplay in a lot of cases. And, well, you know, I, I, like, if I had the choice between looking at a 16-bit turd and a polished 4K turd, well, I probably wouldn't want to look at either. But at least there's some, like, there's a little more charm to the 16-bit one, I guess. Maybe that's just me being nostalgic beyond belief. But you get what I mean? Like, I don't want to stare at a polished turd. You can make it look as beautiful as you want, but if it's shit, it's shit. You can change the front character with LBRB. Each character has its own movement characters are different. Oh, what? Really? Oh, she's quiet! Snake eater. <laughs> she doesn't even make a sound. Not a peep out of her! Now Luna's the main character. What are these things? 16-bit turd. Relatively timeless. Realistic turd looks gonna look uncanny valley by next week. You know when, like... You know when trailers show off characters, like their faces and their, their facial movements and for emotional cutscenes and stuff? Sometimes those don't hit the mark the way I think they think it does. You know, you, 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 you know what I mean? You know what I mean when I say that? Like, you get a close-up of a character's face and they start talking, but like, it's not quite there. It looks pretty damn good, don't get me wrong, but there's a, like a part of it that isn't quite there that when you look at it and it's a serious scene, you think, oh, maybe, maybe it was better if you backed that ass up, like, just a bit. But with like, with animation, with the animations and stuff, you don't really have to change much. And then character portraits, I, I think you can convey a lot more emotion through a character portrait than you can a 3D model. And I'm not trying to shit on 3D models in any way, shape, or form. Like, look at a... What can you do, Sonny? Whoa! Okay, Star can, like, turbo hop. What is this, a boss? Spirit of Forest. I should go. I should go. I should go. I should go. I should leave, I should go. Resume taking over tactics, I should go. Okay, well that was bullshit. <laughs> I couldn't do anything, I was just dead. That is it, game over. There you go. Like, uh, for example, 14.5, the art, the, the, that's not 3D models, of course, that's, that's still like 2D sprite animation, but it's, it's animated in a way that makes it look pretty 3D. 2.5D, I believe it's called, or something like that. Anyway, point is, the models look great, but then the character art, the portraits, represent the character expression and emotion and whatnot. And I like that art a lot, because I like Moe's, uh, Harukawa's art. And I especially like, I especially really like their, the way they, like, because the way they draw Reimu, I like the way they draw Reimu. And they managed to, like, have a Reimu that looks, like, you know, fun, squishy, happy. And then Moe is actually, like, just really good at drawing Reimu looking really serious. Which I think is really good. So, you know, sometimes you can just convey raw emotion from, from that kind of thing. Whereas a 3D model, I don't think a 3D model quite captures it. How did I get up there? Oh, there was a... There was a tile. That's all. Book of Bagua Furnace. Interesting. The equipment placed here has the effect of increasing attack for a certain period of time. A battle begins and icon is placed above the character when effective. 2.5, I believe, when it's 3D, but gameplay is restricted to a 2D plane. So, like, Kirby 64. And, uh... I couldn't think of another example. So, does that mean 14.5 and 15.5 count as 2D still? Because it is 2D, right? But, like... The way the animation moves, it kind of, you know, it looks, I wouldn't say it looks 3D, but like it looks, it looks a little more than, it doesn't look, I, I'm not explaining myself very well at all. Colonel is an example of 2.5D. I've never played that game, but I've played a, a game similar to it, apparently. 
and I think I actually own it for Wii. I've heard about that game a lot, if you can believe it, like, but I've just, I've never, uh, I've never taken the opportunity to really sit down and play it, try it, check it out. 3D background, 2D character sprites. Guilty Gear to Exert and Strive. Yeah, 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 kind of like those. Not as, uh, not, not like as, I don't want to say good, but like, it's when you compare Arxis to like, Tassofro, it's that's not really fair, right? Tassofro does a goddamn good job with their, uh, their group, but Arxis is fucking Arxis, right? Like, you, you, if you, comparing, comparing like, a, essentially the AAA studio, who is the, the front runner of that specific, like, setting, to an indie group is just not fair in the slightest. <laughs> like, that's just being an asshole. But yeah, I kind of like that, where like, the game is 2D, but like, the, the, but the characters, they look pretty, like, they kind of, they look 3D. It's like, yeah, the Guild of Your games look beautiful for that, and you see it like, I love when the a, ga a round ends and like, the camera spins around, it's like, oh yeah, it's a 3D plane, and you can see the characters are 3D, but then in the, in the scope of the fight, they look perfectly, like, fitting for a 2D environment. Kind of thing. Do you get what I mean? I really don't feel like I'm explaining myself well. <laughs> but like it makes sense in my head because I can put picture to my voice, but like I don't think I'm able I'm really selling my point here very good. I don't understand what my current objective is. I just know I got my ass kicked by the spirit of the forest. Anime models, I guess, tend to look better for 3D anyway, but I, my first thought of that is, like, JoJo's, I guess. It's when they... Characters are 3D, but animated to be 2D. I, I guess that makes more sense. I, I really don't know how to explain it. But, like, I understand. I understand. I don't know how they do that, either. It looks really good, though. Guilty Gear 3D mimicking 2D. I suppose. I suppose. I haven't actually watched much of Strive. I've heard of it, my friends play it. But... I'm not really big on playing fighting games. Fairies have objectives? I'm pretty sure Star had a plan. I don't know what that plan is at the moment, though. So I'm currently running through the forest. And hoping I don't run into a, a Gabagoo that kicks my ass once more. But I also like beating up everything in the near vicinity because this is the kind of person I am when it comes to these types of games. And I don't really have much to worry about because nothing can kill me. Guilty Gear is a pretty cool game. But again, yeah, I didn't, uh... I, I like fighting games, but I don't actually watch too many of them. Most of the... Most of my experience with like fighting games is just watching them be played at EVO. And it's usually during EVO Sunday. I really miss that, because... The last EVO Sunday was... The last EVO Sunday I had was like two years ago. And... I had my friend over and we just... We just watched a... We just watched a, The entirety of EVO Sunday. So like, I got up early, I, started, I got caught the end of like... I think it was Mortal Kombat? I can't remember, it might have been Mortal Kombat. Whatever two EVOs ago was. Um, but I got up early for that, and then he showed up at around, like, a little bit before Tekken started. And, you know, we just had, we, we just watched Evo, ordered pizza, and then, yeah. It was just, it was just a good fucking Sunday, really. I love, uh, I love that, uh, I love that. that was, that's one of my favorite, that's one of my favorite Sundays of the year. I want to do that again, but Evo this year was, uh... Evo, Evo this year was pretty rough. <laughs> it was all online. <clears throat> Evo, Evo's, uh, maybe, did anyone actually watch Evo? Legitimate question, did anyone actually watch it? Because I didn't, uh, I didn't watch it this year. But I know it was, it was divided up into regions. And... There was some controversy with some areas being regarded as certain regions. And a friend of mine told me about a guy who, uh... He, he won... He quote-unquote won his round one. 
into a for from a because of a DQ, right? And then the person he was supposed to play, who was it? Who was it? I don't I don't remember who it was. Who's there? Star, what happened? I feel something different from the other monsters nearby. Be careful and proceed. Oh, there's a safe spot. I want to say Kazunoko, but I don't think there was Kazunoko. I might be mixing it up with another story he told me. But basically, he had to play, uh, this dude had to play, like, a, a high-seated player, and then they got DQ'd, and then, you know, they, they, they checked in, and they were like, oh yeah, this happened, and they were fine, they came back, and the dude, like, you know, he just, the, the, the DQ changed, he had to play the match, he obviously got shit-stomped, and then he went, he went into the Discord and started complaining about how his win was taken away from him. The win that he had earned via his opponent's DQ, and I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> if you feel too busy during the battle, try slowing down the battle speed in the settings. The flow of time becomes slower, you can be relaxed. You can also pause the start button. Cool, thank you for the information. So yeah, it was, uh... EO, NA, anyway, still need to watch Japan. Okay, I, I don't, uh... I, I, I don't know. I... A friend of mine was watching it because he was more into fighting games in general than I am. I, I just didn't have any... I didn't have too much interest, I suppose, in checking it out this year. Mostly because I forgot about it, and then after it was like, Oh shit, that right, that. I was, I was at that point, I was like, ah, alright. We're done here. Sore loser much? You have not seen fighting game chats, have you? <laughs> fighting game chats are some of the most special kind of toxic you'll ever see. Ever. I felt something. That was by Ramu and Marissa. The adventure has just begun. Don't get caught. Don't be get caught. Are you guys three fairies of light? You got caught, idiot! Oh shoot, they found us out. Sonny, did you seriously let us vanish? Of course I did. I'm not bad. What about Luna? Now, now, play nice. Each of you are a very important member of the Three Fairies, don't you think so? You guys were obvious that I could hear the sound and see the shapes. You both were. That's weird. I still feel under the weather. Me too, maybe. Your 22-hour map, dude. We're gonna hold meeting we're reviewing later. What are you doing here, by the way? I am welcome for Miss, Miss Chef. Miss Chef, now I have nothing to do. Ah, well, we're coming for a sort of revenge. I see, that's exactly what I wanted. Why don't you do a rehearsal with Reimu and me? Reimu, go easy on them, okay? All right. Wait, we came here for merely because... You think it's rude that going easy on you, right? <clears throat> so you guys fairies play fairly and squarely. Our talk has gone to somewhat the wrong direction. Oh my gosh. I don't care, I'll do anything. Sonny, you suddenly feel motivated? Are you ready? Let's have fairy. Let's have fairly fight. Oh, I, oh, I love Stakey Life on a prank. Bullet. Tactics, tactics, tactics. Tactics, tactics. Run the tactics bar. Go, 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 go. Oh, I probably should have directed them at Reimu specifically. Small potion, we're good, we're good. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get to hear this theme a lot in Puppet Dance tomorrow, huh? I fucking love this theme, it's so good. It's so silly, too. It's such a silly theme. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Big damage. Rainbow's about to heal, and she's dead. Energy one. Magical sphere. Heal. Non-attribute damage to target. Yo, I got a defense increase? Nice. Bean mush! Nice. Beaded heroines. Heroines. We did it. You guys are better than I thought. I'm impressed. Thanks to all the grinding I did. I don't like making an excuse, but I can't explain. Maybe I went too easy on you guys. Don't underestimate fairies, otherwise you guys are gonna pay for it. You. Luna, that's my word, right? Stop fighting. You guys added a topic into review meeting. 
I don't know who you guys are gonna take revenge on, but good luck. I can play with you again anytime, though Freaky Shrine Maidens comes as a set. Whatever. It was like taking a lesson, though. Win is a win. Let's keep up and beat Cherno. Yep. <sighs> Good, Sunny and Luna finally got motivated. Alright, now Raymond and me to say adios. Now, Chad, I hate to derail the plot here, but have you ever seen that image where... Cur you know what? Let me just show it to you. I I'm pretty sure I have it in here. I'm pretty sure I have it in here. Let me let me see if I got it. It should be in here. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Give me a second. I'm derailing. There it is. There it is. You ever see this image? This is uh. This is what comes to mind when I hear the word adios. I, it's uh it's unavoidable. They got uh them cheeks. They clap. <laughs> Colonel. I'm, I apologize. I got an achievement for clicking in the window. Instead of Z-key. Marissa, you said nothing to do, but what about mushrooming by the way? What the hell is mushrooming? Dylan, why though? What? What, what do you mean, why though? Did you expect better from me? I'm tired, dude. Tired, tired me doesn't think before I act. Whoops, it completely slipped my mind. Well, let's see another forest if there is no mushroom here. There's plenty on the ground. Seems like we got in trouble. But we went through it. Had a good start, huh? By the way, Raymu and Marissa, don't you guys overlook something bland new stuff? See, these are magical sphere and magic book. Look very important. I assume we can use these for the synthesis in the same way as equipments. Hopefully we're gonna be able to use magic by some change. Chance. Let's do it before hold the review meeting. What? You can make magic in composition magic column. This is exactly the same as composition of equip. Heals recovery energies for attack. If you don't have MP, you can't use it. Okay. Composition. Magical sphere. Magic powder. Okay. You composed magic. Okay, heal target, non-attribute damage. I did it! Eureka! Magic requires MP. Use MP on a budget. I agree, the only way to recover MP is going to save point for now. Casting a magic spelling, how reassuring. It's done, so head to the mountain area. I'm sorry that Marissa is a free-spirited. Even so, I feel like we are showing off the underlying power of the fairies. So, booyah! Don't underestimate fairies, otherwise you guys are gonna pay for it. Oh, she got her line in that time. I know, you, I know, you just wanted to say say get your phrase. Oh shoot, you have any mushrooms by chance? I might have a, just a few amount, why? Why don't you trade them for item? Sure, let's do trading. Trade mushroom. Book of Exorcism Rod. A, a rod used to protect us from evil. Magic stone, used to compose and reinforce magics. Tiny button. CD. Red powder. Sorry, Marissa. I don't want to trade right now. I really like the art in this game. The the pixel art is nice. And then the actual, like, cut-in art is very gorgeous. Alright. So, here's what I wanted to talk about. What I was mentioned. Oh, well, I'll, okay, I'll get, I'll, get, I'll get you in a second. I guess we can get to the cave when we get to the mountain. Be cautious, because the around summit is so steep, okay? Kind of like a little hiking. It was perfect if I had snacks and bento box. This is not a game. This is a journey for beating Cherno in the cave. As Luna says, watch out for our steps. I really went all the way back there. Alright, we're good. Make a new save slot. Hit that. So basically, if you ever watch a fighting game, a note about stats. HP, attack, mainly deals damage, determines the effects of heal, defense against physical, defense against magic, speed. Okay. If you ever watch a fighting game and you've opened Twitch chat, Twitch chat will be kind of like one of a few things. So there will be people who are who will talk about... There are people who will see a character they don't like and they will spend the rest of the, the set talking about how much they hate them. There will be the people who just post copy pastas every couple minutes and that's, that's the entirety of their uh, commitment to chat. 
And then there are the people that play hindsight to the best players in the world for any given game. Those ones are my favorite. One of my favorites I saw recently. So I don't know how many of you know anything about Smash Brothers, but there was a tournament over in Europe a while back. I think it was Wanted 3. Um, Larry Lur, Fatality were there. Uh, I think someone else was there, but those are the only two that come to mind off the top of my head. Anyway, Larry Lur, uh, he lost to a... He lost to one of the Ridley players whose name I do not remember because it was not a, it was not a word that I would just know off the top of my head, so I apologize for that. But he lost, uh... He lost to a Ridley player, 3-1. That's pretty exciting for the Ridley player, right? And then Europe, you know, Europe's gonna pop off for their boy. Makes perfect sense. And then someone in Twitch chat, no more than like two minutes later, goes, Yeah, I just don't think this guy plays Ridley correctly. He just he just doesn't play the character the way he should. You know, after beating Larry Lur in a 3-1 set at a best of five. But he doesn't play the character correctly. What? Yeah. I'm not I'm not joking. This is the kind of shit that you see in Twitch chat for fighting games. <laughs> oh, hold on. These slimes are kind of... These slimes are kind of packing. Alright, I got it. I got it. No problem, bro. That's just Smash players. Well, it's... The thing is, is it's pretty much the same for all different... All, uh, all fighting games, right? All of them. It's just Smash. Smash is the only one I'm immediately familiar with. A, tw a bird? Blue bird. Tweet, tweet, motherfucker. There seems to be some, like, forgotten aspect of it where it's like... You know, when you're playing in a tournament setting, and you're playing against a good player, and you're constantly having to make on-the-fly decisions, and then someone who's sitting on their ass with their hands, with their hands like in a bowl of Cheetos, and they'll be like, "Why did he? Why did he pick that option? What is he stupid? He should have known that in that option, his character wouldn't have been able to do X, and his opponent was gonna do Y." And it's like. Yeah, I bet he's thinking about all that and also thinking about how he has to, you know, he's like one hit away from losing the set and he's in losers. It's bottom of the ninth and proms tomorrow, like, but you can, you can just say whatever you want when you're in Twitch chat. And the best part is, is if you can't even call them out on it, right? You can't call these people out on their bullshit because as soon as you say like, items can be executed fast and other actions, they should be used items in an emergency, cool. As soon as you call them out on their bullshit, and it's like, wow, all right, just, you know, like, I'm, you can say whatever you want, but, like, I'm pretty sure that player could just completely kick your ass. They know what they're doing. They'll be like, yeah, I know he can kick my ass. He could, he could 3-0 me easy, no problem. But that doesn't mean I can't insult his gameplay. Like, as if for, for some reason, acknowledging that the player you're criticizing can just completely shit stomp you in the game that he's playing allows you to criticize their play in such a way. It's like, you know... Now don't get me wrong. There are things you can definitely see when you're not playing. And it's not like all of what they say is necessarily incorrect, but the way they phrase it... is so... bad. Why did you do X? Well, because I was worried about Y. Well, you shouldn't have been worried about Y. Like, wow, thanks for the information, Captain Hindsight. I'll remember that when I travel back in time and redo the fucking set. Like, it, it's just, it's just insane, man. I don't know how people deal with it. Yeah, every competitive game chap is pretty horrible. It's pretty much how it goes, though, right? So, like, you know, it, 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 there's, there's a little bit of funny to it. But only a little bit. After a while, it just it just becomes tiresome. No matter what you do, no matter who you play, who you beat, whatever happens, you are not you are not good. You play this character. Oh shit! There's the oh here comes the resident sleepers. Here comes the resident sleepers, baby. 
fuck this character. This character, bullshit. I hate this character. Why did Sunny just fucking die? Come back to me, Sunny. These birds do a lot of damage. Competitive Mario Kart Wii. That ain't real anymore. Come on. That's fake. You only need the commentators? Oh, don't worry. They'll complain about them, too. Unless you're- unless you're, uh, unless the commentary of a tournament is, like, uh, certified, like, Oh god, I know that name. That's- that's the guy. Then the commentary is bad. There are only two good commentators for ever- any game ever. And that's- that's- that's the way it has to be. The Funky Kong meta. I fucking hate Funky Kong, dude. I hate him. Amazing. Uh, I'm gonna check the map. I've only been to one spot. And now I need to use potions every battle. Crazy. But you know, that's just how it be. You know, you just turn the Twitch chat off, and then, then you're, you're good to go, which I do recommend. But, like, sometimes, sometimes when the chat actually gets, like, excited, it's fun. Like, chat, do you remember when, um, you remember when Twitch... You remember when Twitch played a bunch of, like, anime? Red Button. I actually really enjoyed that. I watched the entirety of Yuri on Ice. The only reason I watched that show, and the only reason I would have ever watched that show, is because I got to watch it with a bunch of Twitch chat people just reacting to everything. And it is fucking hilarious watching hundreds of thousands of random people in a chat room react to a show you're watching all at the same time, but you can't hear them. It is so funny. <laughs> So yeah, I ended up watching the entirety of Free, or not Free, uh, Yuri on Ice. And if you're wondering what Yuri on Ice is, it is not what you think at all. It is about a figure skater named Yuri, who, you know, he pursues his dream as a figure skater. And every character in the series is unquestionably male. So, the name is bullshit. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. I also watched, you know, some Pokemon episodes. Some, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff as well when they did that. Bro, the, the copy pastas for the Yu-Gi-Oh marathon were fantastic. Because the... <laughs> did anyone watch that? Surely, surely someone's watched that. The, uh, <laughs> There were... There were instances where the ads were basically as long as some of the episodes. And the copy pastas that showed up were fucking phenomenal. My favorite one was my grandpa's stream has no pathetic ads, Kaiba. <laughs> it's like uh, the, uh, the unstoppable ad Zodia. <laughs> like when when you people people can get real fucking creative and it it, it gets real funny. But yeah, the Yu-Gi-Oh! the Yu-Gi-Oh! stream had so many ads to a point where it got memed as shit. They actually ended up adjusting some of them and made the ad break shorter overall, but it was pretty bad. <laughs> I don't remember any of the Pokemon ones. I don't think Twitch has done anything like that in a while, huh? But those were those were amazing streams because like they just decided to stream like every episode of Pokemon. So if you if you were looking for some background noise and you didn't really like care and you know you maybe maybe wanted to listen to some pokemon like all of those needs were, were satisfied right there all you had to do was boot up twitch watches pokemon and you can sit there and you can have pokemon on the side and every now and again you can glance over and you can watch chat pog as pikachu uses thunderbolt <laughs> that's that's the best part is that twitch chat would react to like everything no matter how mundane it was pikachu pikachu used thunderbolt that's pog baby Pikachu got hit, and it's like, not like this, not like this. You get any emotional scene anywhere, Pepe hands all over the place.
Twitch chat has the ability to remind me that my sense of humor has not really evolved since the age of six. No matter how much I like to believe it, it's just not the case. I will sit there, I will sit here and be like, yeah, my sense of humor is very sophisticated, and then I will laugh at the word pee pee poo poo. Like, what, what do you want from me? Don't expect better, you're not gonna get better from this, alright? But then you watch, you watch Twitch chat just react like that to everything, and you just giggle to yourself because it's stupid. Dude, found three fairies. I can do a candid interview right now, but maybe play cat and mouse is better. People watching, nope, fairies wathing is not bad once in a while. Did, but they look so excited, like gonna be going on a picnic. Anyway, whoa! Damn, she's gone. Let's go. No, I want to go up here first. There's something new up here. Yeah, she just zipped. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see. I want to see another Twitch watches. I really do. Every time Twitch makes something good, they never bring it back. And every time Twitch makes something that makes you cring, they bring it back. Pink birds rarely appear in this area. It's stronger than other enemies, if you do, uh, so don't get too close if you find it. I want to kick its ass. Book of Heal S. Luna does, like, no damage compared to the others. Well, she's probably, like, the mage because her MP is higher. Either way, she's, uh, my favorite of the three. So I, I put her up front. At least I'm pretty sure she's the one up front. I can't remember. Also, Luna might not be doing damage because she's the one who always hits them when they're at low HP and you only do up to their amount of HP. They bring Fortnite back all the time. Yeah. Fortnite's a special kind of, uh... Real special. Yukari did mention that Luna is the strongest, is potentially the strongest of the three fairies, and that is because she gets her power from the moon, and yokai also get their power from the moon. So she's the closest in yokai like that. So on a full moon, a full moon is, you know, yokai are the strongest during a full moon, right? And then Luna also benefits from a full moon. Sunny benefits from the sun, and I'm pretty sure Star benefits from the stars. And then Chirino is like close to becoming a yokai herself because she has a monopoly over ice as an element due to her being like the only ice fairy in existence. I wanna, I wanna fight a red bird. Is there anywhere else I can go? Let me check that world map. I can't tell. I can't tell if there's a direction I can go on the map. Fortnite's never gonna die. Come on now. Fortnite is making so much money. It would, it would take a, a miracle, like some kind of divine intervention, if you want that gone. That's really just not gonna happen. I can certainly do without all the crossovers, that's for sure. Those those worry me. I don't like those. Also, from what I understand, they're currently for implementing a uh, Among Us mode, which is like if they called it Imposter, which is kind of one of the most just like, yeah, we're Fortnite, we can do whatever we want, and you, like you have no legal ground to challenge us on. What's that? You're a team of three people who made a, a, a neat little... Uh, little uh, Mafia-esque game that has spawned into one of the most cancerous <laughs> memes ever created. Uh, nope, it's ours now. Get your, get your imposter sus on with Fortnite. What are you gonna do, sue us? Unchallengeable, dude. Unchallengeable. You can't do anything about it. Spread them, cause old Fortnite's coming for you. Run the tactics, run the tactics. Damn it. They had the... The fact they had the gall to just call it, like, imposters. Like, come on, dude. 
You're not fooling anyone, but the thing is, is no one's gonna give a shit. Anyone that gives a shit can't do anything about it, and then no one else is gonna play the game is gonna give a shit at all, and then they're just gonna make more money off it. Fortnite is eternal. Hmm. Fortnite is so big that everyone wants a slice of the pie, that's all. Alright, so if you want to cross over into Fortnite, that is like... That's easy publicity, right? If you're if you're looking, because you know how markets work, they're they're always trying to get the they're always trying to appeal to a new demographic, right? They always try to appeal to a new demographic, and there's no better way to insert your series into the face of a new demographic than by sticking it in Fortnite. You know this, I know this, they know this, everyone knows this. From a purely a business standpoint, it makes perfect sense why they would want to collaborate with that kind of thing because it is probably the easiest and most effective publicity they could ever get. Hey, look, it's Kami and Ryu from Street Fighter. What Street Fighter? Uh, well, maybe the kids will be interested in checking out Street Fighter now because they saw a buff man in clothes and bare feet. No, that's not why. They saw they saw the Queen of Thighs herself in their video game and. Now they're having an awakening of sorts. Like, come on now. You know the people that play Fortnite. You know how this goes. That magic water was yellow. Chun-Li awakened some things in a lot of people. That's all I'll say. You will not get any more out of me on this topic, but I will say at least that much. You cannot... You cannot refute this. You cannot refute this. No matter how hard you try. You cannot refute it. <laughs> That's how it be. That's how it be. Speaking of Fortnite, though, uh, how's PUBG? Is that a game yet? Is Player Unknown Battleground a game yet? Or is uh, that not a game anymore? <clears throat> No, you're not gonna see niche stuff get into it. The fact that it's harboring, like, you know, Thanos fucking, like, what, Batman was in there? Uh, Street Fighter, like, big name. Fortnite knows it's big. It does not, like, you know, it's not playing around there. So, like, if you want, if you want your character in Fortnite, you want to collab with old Fortnite, you gotta, you gotta dish out the big publicity bucks, right? Get ready for that. It's not, it's not, not no cheap charity. That's for sure. PUBG is not finished still. <laughs> Isn't that crazy how PUBG kind of like started this whole fiasco with Battle Royale? And then Fortnite just kind of like stepped in and then immediately took over and suddenly we're in this timeline where Fortnite is the most successful video game like ever. I wonder if this area is an intermediate point. Uh, there's a little bit more distance to the half of this mountain. We've climbed so much, but haven't even come halfway yet? It's way too long. How about taking a nap around here? Okay, this is not a trip or a picnic. This seriously is picnic- Nope! This is adventure! We can reach the halfway point very soon, so be patient. You were quite right. Beat Cherno as a revenge for Star. Why are there tulips? Beast flower. How scary could you be? You're a flower. Oh. Defeated one. Good. There's only one more character for the DLC pass. There's no way it's Remo. There's no, there's no way. I'm gonna be real at you, chat. The more I think about what Rayma would be like in Smash Brothers, the less I actually want her in the game. You you know what that character will be like, right? Get up. Wake up. You know what a character you know how Sakurai is. He wants his characters to be faithful to their original series. Do you know what Rayma is in her original series? 
She's a piece of shit with a small hitbox who throws a million fucking projectiles at you. You telling me you want that in Smash as the last character? Because whatever that character comes out as is getting at least, at, at the bare, like, one balance patch and that's it. Rugged advanced course, a gentle hiking course. I don't have a four step jump. Reimu will have a small hitbox. She'll be able to dash through projectiles and her, all of her projectiles will do damage. Well, obviously, and they will all be kill moves. The only way you make that character balanced is if you make her die in one hit. In which case, that's not a balanced character anymore. So Reimu can't happen. They're also homing, yes. <laughs> Everything Reimu does in the terms of a fighting game in a game like Smash Brothers is is probably the worst possible thing that you could actually happen to the game. No, no cap. No cap. Dying in one hit would be faithful to the source though. Yes, but my, my point is is that if you run all of that together, the character is not balanced anymore. You have an extremely obnoxious character who dies in one hit. So like, you know, everybody gets hit by accident. So unless the character is so goddamn fucking impossible to hit that you can like justify that kind of weakness, there's no goddamn way anyone is ever like using that character. But if they are that hard to hit, then everyone is going to be using that character. And then the entire meta is going to turn into Reimu Dittos, where Reimu throws, uh, throws homing amulets at Reimu and watches as homing amulets track Reimu's position and it's the one true counterplay to Reimu's small hitbox, is the projectiles that home in onto said small hitbox. And then that's the meta. <laughs> the entire meta becomes, uh, becomes that. Reimu dittos. The year is 20... 20XX, baby. 20XX. All... All tournament sets are decided by who throws their homing amulet first in the Reimu dittos. <laughs> I really don't know what we could possibly get for our last DLC character, but I'm hoping they're at least not Bayonetta. Oh ho! How did you happen to be here, Aya? Which means you have the same fodder that I have. You got wind of the Three Fairies gossip as well. No, gossip worth being less than a half of original. <clears throat> it's the same situation for me. The gossip can never be restored because cannot make original from two less than a half. Where do the rest of value go? This is why another company in the same industry are troublesome. If I don't segregate properly, you'll just crush each other. Well, just, uh, this time I stake first, so this gossip is mine. Please don't say that cold. Let's be pacifists. Rationalism comes first over pacifism. You should go find the remaining. I don't know what they're talking about. By the way, do you know that reward money has been set on three fairies' heads? Why? I knew it. That's why I was late. I have a suggestion. How about splitting the prize money evenly without giving up the right to interview each other? Why do we have a bounty on our heads? Pacifism, pacifism. That's not pacifism. You are t collecting a bounty on, on me. Okay, I'll allow a joint interview only this time. Only this time, okay? Roger that. You're unusually straightforward. Well then, I need the big bucks. If you want to fight, let's listen to the opponent. I guess we have no choice. And they're gone. You know what's funny? Maybe a little more to the top, let's do our best. Is the idea of Rillaboom or Cinderace being the last DLC character is exactly on par with the level of excitement I would feel with Byleth. And it would make people even more angry. Because people were pissed that we got another Fire Emblem character. How do you think people are gonna feel if they get another Pokemon and it's a car it's a Pokemon from one of the most disliked Pokemon main series games to ever release? <laughs> Book of Revive. You gotta you gotta think about that, right? Here comes Rillaboom! Oh his side B is grassy glide, it kills you at fucking 50 and it's like he comes at you at mock speed get good nerd like all right thanks for the boom press the side b button again why don't you i honestly don't know what to expect and i don't want to have expectations 
Because I, I had expectations, I suppose, for, for the fifth reveal. Violet's reveal was one of the most I want to stop watching I've, I've had the entire time with, like, Smash Directs. The, 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 the cutscene was lazy. The fact that they revealed and then immediately went to the trailer and then they were like, yeah, right, they're coming out next week. And then, like, this was also supposed to be the climax of Fighters Pass 1. That is not a climax to Fighters Pass 1. That is the, one of the main issues I had with it. Byleth is actually a pretty fun character, and it is, like, is enjoyable to watch. But Byleth is not a, this is the fifth character you paid for in a pack with Joker and Banjo. Especially Banjo. Banjo-Kazooie. Like, there are quite a number of characters in that pack that make you go, God damn. Byleth was not one of them. I didn't mean to... Oops. Yo, tactic memories kind of suck sometimes. I gotta keep that in mind. Terry's cool. I think Terry's cool. Kazuya... I think Kazuya's pretty cool, too. The fighting game characters are sick. I'm, I'm actually quite happy that the fighting game characters that do get in are ones from, like, traditional fighters and not anime fighters. Because I think anime fighters would look awful in Smash Bros. And I also think anime fighters would be awful to deal with in Smash Bros. Case in point, Bayonetta. It's not an anime fighter, but she <laughs> might as well be a fucking Marvel character. <clears throat> Fighting game characters lame, they fight already. But that's exactly why they should be in Smash Bros, right? Ryu stepping into, street, uh, stepping into Smash Bros was super hype, because like... Ryu, Ryu's like the face of, of fighting games, right? He's Mr. Fighting Game. Street Fighter's huge. So the fact that Ryu, like, crossed over with Smash Bros, and now he was playing in Smash Bros style was sick. Ken didn't really need to show up, but, well, he's there now. But I liked the, the, the idea of Terry was cool, because they implement the mechanics from their games into the Smash Bros format, and, you know, they oftentimes just end up becoming incredibly obnoxious, but they do get implemented. And then, I thought Kazuya was cool, because Tekken is a cool series. So, you know, Tekken, Fatal Fury, K slash King of Fighters, and, uh, Street Fighter. All the, all the big, like, all the big, not M-rated fighting games <laughs> that aren't anime fighters, pretty much all represented in Smash Bros. Now, I can see why people would be like, oh, Terry, Kazuya, I sleep. But, you know, I, I also, I was pretty I sleep with, like, Hero. And, uh, Byleth. And the thing about Hero and Byleth is I thought- I think Hero and Byleth are actually really fun to watch. I fucking hate playing against them. <laughs> actually, more so, Hero. Hero- Hero just, you know, he can be- he can get real- He can get under your skin real fast. I did not give a fuck about Banjo, because I don't have any attachment to that character. But people loved him, and, you know, who am I to be like, yeah, whatever. Although, that character- Aside from Piranha Plant, Banjo might be, like, the worst DLC character in the- released so far, which is pretty unfortunate. Sephiroth is really cool. I was- Sephiroth was so unexpected though, because like they weren't doing bad guys and then suddenly you got Mr. Bad Guy himself from- from fucking Final Fantasy 7. And this is also around a point where, you know, Square was not like giving us anything. When- when Ultimate announced, like, all the new character, not even new characters, just all the characters were returning, Cloud came back and Midgar had two fucking music tracks to it still. And they admittedly, Square gave, you know, they had Hero as a Square property as well, so they were a little more... It's like, okay, that's cool, but I don't think anyone really could have seen Sephiroth coming. Sephiroth pretty much showed up just out of, out of nowhere, just like Cloud did back in Smash 4. Super exciting trailers that were just like, who could this character be? And then it was just fucking Cloud from Final Fantasy VII, and then Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. And that's so cool! Love or hate both either of those characters, the, the way those characters were revealed weren't spoiled at all. It's just like, that's the way you do a reveal trailer. Fucking Galeem just got cleaved in half from the back, and then Cloud was like, God damn it, why are you here? Insane. And then you get reveals like, uh, like Min Min. Does anyone remember the Min Min reveal? The Min Min reveal is, was so bad. 
Cause like, here's what happened. Basically, there was a there was a completely separate direct for an, something Nintendo related, and at the end, they were like, "By the way, there's going to be a direct coming up soon for uh, for a Smash character." Like, they just offhandedly made a remark about an oncoming Smash character. And then they were like, oh, by the way, Fighters Pass 2 is actually going to have six characters instead of five. Because we know that none of you wanted Min Min. <laughs> but the higher-ups wanted Min Min. So they got Min Min. Oh, this is bad. Let's do this. Perfect number. Good. Alright, we're good. Min Min... Okay, I have a, I have a multitude of problems with Min Min. Number one, Min Min is a fucking boring ass lame-o character. There are no two ways about that one. Second thing about Min Min... Why did they put an ARMS character in the game? Like, three years after ARMS came out? What was the point of that? Genuine question here, I'm not trying to be an asshole. Because... ARMS doesn't really receive any support from Nintendo at all anymore. So, why were they suddenly interested in promoting their IP in the game? Not to mention, they didn't bother putting the game on sale in any capacity at all. They were like, yo, if you like Min Min and Smash, you should check out our home game, ARMS. Oh, that's cool, maybe I'll check that out. What's the retail price? The retail price of ARMS? <laughs> it's still full price, baby. You didn't think we were gonna let you enjoy the game for like 50% off, did you? No, we, we want you to experience those 15 minutes before you get bored of this game. And we want those six, that 60 bucks. Everything about Min Min was depressing. Also, reminder that Min Min was the character revealed after Byleth. So... I don't think there was a single positive aspect to Min Min at all. <laughs> There's just none. We got arms too, which never happened. Well, if it never happened, we didn't get it then. We didn't get a Monster Hunter rep. Rathalos is in the game. Monster Hunter is a playable character in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Which is not what you want, of course. Oh. Oh, I got this, I got this. I got this, I, I solved it. You obviously, you don't want, you don't want Monster Hunter to be a character in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta think of the, 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 uh, the alternatives here, right? Travis won't get in. Because they- I don't think they're ever gonna put an M-rated character in the game that isn't, like, essentially a first-party Nintendo character. Unless they have, like, an explicit popularity poll. I'm trying to say this in a way that doesn't, uh, influence Bayonetta. Joker is M-rated. You know, you are correct on that. You are actually correct on that. Bayonetta is- she won the popularity poll. Snake was put in the game because Kojima asked Sakurai, and Sakurai is just like, alright. But Snake doesn't use any guns, so he's clean. He has explosions, because those are funny. Oh, you really missed. Travis is a costume. Yeah, I didn't know this either, but apparently it's it's against uh, the law to, to like, when you, have a, when you have a crossover with an M-rated game, you're not allowed to give its name. So that's why, like, the me costumes for No More Heroes and uh, Devil May Cry are just Smash Bros. X Travis and Smash Bros. X Dante. Because they're just not allowed to... They're not allowed to reference the series because they're M-rated games. That's a weird law. It's a weird law. I never heard of that law before. I, I thought it was weird that they referenced... They were just like, Smash Bros. X Dante. Yet yeah, Joker. Well, um, I don't know. Maybe it's because they referenced. I, 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 I honestly have no idea. I couldn't tell you. I really, I really couldn't tell you.
You can now play as Dunte. Please! No, you don't want you don't want Dante as the last character anyway. If there's any character you don't want in the game, it's a character who has the from who's from a series that they have so much freedom of attacks. Like Bayonetta. Chat, I really don't want to see another Bayonetta. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> that character was that character was frustration maximum. She was essentially playing Ultimate before Ultimate came out. That's what made her so frustrating. Dante is in my MVC3. He's pretty insane. He also has a move list. Dante has a bigger move list alone than like half the fucking like Marvel characters do together. He has so many options. It's hilarious. I want to get to that heal point. So let me through. Dickhead. Crab battle. He has so many moves. I don't think there's any real speculation to it. It could be anything as far as I'm concerned. I'm just gonna wait for it to come out and be like, oh, okay. I just hope, you know, I just hope that the character is A, fun to watch, and B, like, not, not detrimental to the game as a whole. If the character becomes so good that everyone starts playing that character, then, then the game becomes pretty bad. That's the kind of deal with it that you gotta watch out for, right? Like, Bayonetta... Imagine Smash 4 if Bayonetta was, a uh, If Bayonetta was on the... Like, the release roster. <laughs> but... But she didn't get nerfed in any capacity. Actually, I guess if she was on the base roster, she probably would have been nerfed to some capacity. But as it was, she only got one nerf and it wasn't enough. And then they stopped touching the game. It's close to reaching the summit. Well, finally, when we reach the summit as a memorial... Picture. Unfortunately, I'll have you guys fall down here. What are you talking about? Do you know that the bounty was placed on you guys? I don't know that. We haven't do anything bad. Well, not so much. Hmm. You are aware of it. In the first place, it's not the mischief that's coming so far, but the purpose of defeating Cherno. That's kind of that's interesting. I feel like I can write a kind of good article. I don't care about the article. If you guys say you're gonna fight with us, let's fight. Wow, that will save us time. Would you like me to hear the excuses you defeated later? That is way too much HP. All right. And this, now we watch. I'm gonna need a granola bar. Don't mind me. I'm winning, son. I have... To win a battle against a true yokai, you need to have strength, courage, and a fuckload of blue juice. Oh, my granola bar is melting. It's so hot outside. Damn it. <laughs> wow. Crab battle and a half. What is blue juice? My potions. Magic save blue juice. 
Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Mm, bad paparazzi. I've done it in return. I've made you guys. Security is the greatest enemy. I ask you one question, how much is the bounty? It's one year's worth of sweets. It's like a reward for gourmet me, isn't it? I wonder if there was a better bounty. Please rest assured that we will not stop fighting anymore. What? Even me as a reporter knows the courtesy. Oh god, I did not English. However, I am interested in the matter of the revenge. Would you give me permission to interview? Of course, we will pay for it. While saying courtesy, this Tengu is forever greedy. Star, what are we gonna do? Yeah. Anyway, the revenge will end immediately, so let's get what we can get. Besides, it may be a chance to show the powers of our three fairies to others! <clears throat> Negotiations have been concluded. First of all, could you tell us about the circumstances? The process goes back to last summer. And so on and so forth. This and that. I don't know the plot of this game either. So the idea is to hunt down Chirno in a cave finally. May I interview you again after a while? Fur. Look forward to it. If I ask Cherno, I can eat all the you can eat ice cream must be. I have a thing to talk to you a little later. Oh, seriously? Book of sunbathing, book of moon bathing, book of star bathing. Okay. Is it all you can eat cream starting? I gather everyone have an ice cream party. Sonny, you run with her. Actually, there's only one thing I would like to ask. What? If you had something unique during your adventure, I want you guys to take a picture of it. Sure. Is there a reward? On commission, though, but of course we will prepare it. Side business while adventuring. We will also give you the camera. Please take a picture with this. I'll tell you more detail if you talk to me again. Book of SLR camera. Take screenshots not needed equipped. Convex lens. Red lead. LED. I know what, I know what it means. I want to give a reward to you guys. Bring me a photo. that was on the list I'm about to give you guys. I understand. Let's see. What? Hidden mouse monster. I'm sorry, that's a like glod metal. Glod. Geoglyph of rabbit. Reward fairy bean brilliant. Book of purple token. Top of iceberg, otherworldly flower garden, sudden bamboo grove. I have no clue. I don't know how it... I don't know which button takes picture. It did said I didn't need to equip it. Uh... Wow, I wish I knew where anything was in here. There we go. Curios. Camera. Oh, I need to make the camera, don't I? Why do you just give me the fucking camera? Not possess. Red token. Red powered. Crowing A. I... Alright. There, I made a camera. Photo 1. Say cheese. Okay, so I can take pictures. But I need to take pictures of certain things. Alright. I plan on checking out Yakuza 0 in the, uh, the future. When? I'm not sure quite yet, but like... It's a long fucking game, so... If I start it... I'm gonna be on it for a while. <laughs> but you know, I got like four RPGs I'm playing right now because I'm an idiot, Kyle. I'm playing this. I gotta finish Lease Up with the the, uh, the follow-up. I got Keifu. I'm, Chad, I am only playing RPGs. Well, I guess Boho is not an RPG. Boho is not an RPG. Just, uh, let me know if Zero goes on sale, because I'd like to get it while it's cheap. Wow. You took one action on one threat since my last summary. Well, thank you. Where did that threat come from? There wasn't any problem last time. 
Why is there a problem now? Manga Giga. Well, I don't want you to just give it to me for free, but like, if it's cheap, I'm not gonna. If it if it's like five bucks, then by all means, I appreciate that. But if it's like fucking full price, then you really don't have to do that. That's that's not that's not a small amount of money to just throw my way. Was obtain start level three. It's twenty bucks. Oh, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Is it on sale right now? I thought it was like I thought it would be more expensive. Honestly, I did. I just assume every video game is like sixty bucks. Twenty bucks is normal price. That's a pretty damn good deal for a game that's that highly regarded, huh? I bought GTA for five, and then the game fucking sucks. <laughs> It's a pretty early PS4 game, isn't it? Oh, I, I guess so. I don't really know. During sales, it's five most of the time. Is there a sale coming up at all? Probably not, huh? I've been waiting for a sale for a while now for uh, the the Toho F Arena Fighter game because I missed the I missed the launch sale that was like 50% off, and now it's 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 like 40 bucks. So I'm not spending 40 bucks on that game. Sorry. So I'm gonna get it for that one. I'm not gonna get that when it's on sale. Crab battle. This bug is probably insane. Crab battle. Crab battle. Yeah. Can you attack the one that's going to die in one hit, please? That way we can lower the amount of shit I have to do here. Well, I'm not really doing anything, I suppose. I'm just watching as my potions disappear. Hmm. Next Steam sale is 21st of October, but they have the Midweek's Madness or certain weekend sales randomly. I got this on sale. This is on sale right now for, like, the week as a release sale. Alright. Maybe I should set my tactics. I should probably set my tactics so they target one enemy at a time. And not random. That's my fault. But it's okay. How many potions do I have? Uh, things stopped dropping potions. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's the map? Why is there a treasure bag there? Is there anywhere else I can go? Hmm. 60 euros gets you zero and the remix of one and two. 60 euros is like, it's like a hundred bucks Canadian. <laughs> Some asinine number like that. Thank you, 82, for gifting the sub. Did I miss anything? I, I have a hard time telling with this map. Yeah, well, I don't know necessarily about the euro. I, I know about the pound, though. The pound is a, uh, pound is a bitch. That's for sure. I don't know the conversion rate from Canadian to the uh, the Euro, though. It really sucks. Victory. Where am I? Oh... 89.36 Canadian. Oh, that's still a lot. I hate that. One euro is 149 Canadian. That's pretty... That's pretty close to, uh, the pound anyway. And then I'm like, you know, the fucking uh, US dollar as well. That's always a fun one. I hate- why is- why is my currency so bad, dude? I don't understand. 
that'll be 20 bucks. Oh, Pog, actually that's like 26 bucks for you. Oh, God damn it. Everyone advertises their prices in US, and then when I confirm that it's US, and it's like, well, shit. Could be worse, like, pesos. I want, I want my, I want to be paid in Zimbabwe dollars. Okay? Pay me in Zimbabwe dollars. I have walked a thousand miles. Yeah, I saw that. The, uh... The, the Fumos that were up on Ami Ami. The site, like... The site got overloaded because so many people tried to buy them. Did they have a cap on purchase limit? Or were they just first come, first serve? Because Gift had a limit of three and Gift never crashed. But I also think that Gift never crashed because of the... Uh, the extra steps required weren't worth the hassle for people who were trying to buy. Cause you know, scalping. There are only 300 of each in- There were only 300 each in stock. That is a big fucking number. <laughs> 300 of each? That is an insanely large amount. You telling me they sold out? Yakuza 0 is on sale for 5 USD on the Humble Bundle site. I don't know what Humble Bundle is, and I would buy that as long as you promise me that I don't have to do anything related to whatever Humble Bundle is afterwards. Sold out in an hour. For real? Damn. Everything sold out in an hour? Consider that scalpers exist too. No, I know, I know. But like... I guess what I, I mean is like, I don't think Gift had nearly as many for their restocks, but also because Gift only shipped to Japan, I have a feeling that there weren't a lot of scalpers really trying, right? On Gift that happened too. Well, that's how it works. You know how scalping works. You buy a product, you buy a limited product, and then you sell it back for five times the price. People don't like those people very much. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I, I really can't imagine why you would actively dislike somebody who uh, skews supply and demand like that. Cave entrance now. The site was broken the entire time. They had bots ready to buy. For who- For you who can't be bought or the choose commands, if you register frequently, use items and quick access, you can quickly select them during the battle. Produced by the Tory Holdings. I'm not gonna remember I have that. Wonder why people hate them. Yeah, I just don't know. Yes. Neat. I don't really know what Aya wants pictures of. And I don't have- I can't just take pictures of fucking everything. Tenshi was sold out in 15 minutes. 300 Tenshi's gone in 15 minutes? Damn. I think I have one. I got, uh, I got my Tenshi from Gift. I'm pretty sure the only Fumo I've been denied a uh, purchase on was like Kokoro. And Alice, but I, I, that was because uh, Kokoro d didn't go in, and Alice was because I tried to buy it, like, late because I didn't get a... I didn't get a... On my first batch, I didn't get Satori. And, uh... Who didn't come in? I ordered six of them. Yeah, Satori and Kokoro didn't come in, so I tried to order Alice real quick, like, at the end, but then I was way too late, and then I didn't get her, and I was like, alright, whatever. <laughs> From AliExpress, someone's gonna support the bootleggers. Well, it's not gonna be me. I prefer the uh, the real deal, the official. If you're not bothered by that, then more power to you. You get a Fumo for cheaper, but I unfortunately am bothered by that. <clears throat> 
I recommend using GIF. The the convenience of Ami Ami is there, but as I said, because GIF requires you to use a service to like ship to Japan then ship to you, you you uh, you're less inclined to do that. Also, I don't know how bots work, but I have a feeling that if you can if you can make a bot to purchase things frame one, you can't really do that when you have to organize uh, a payment method through another human being, right? So when you pay for an item on what I use is Zen Market. If I pay for an item on Zen Market, I have to put the order in, then I have to wait for them to confirm the order, then I spend the per the money, then they purchase the order, right? So it's a two-man process. But in the case of Ami Ami, it's just like hit, 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 ordered, ready to go, right? So I'm pretty sure you could make a script for that or something. Again, I don't know how this shit works, but I assume that's what happened if it crashed the fucking thing and then everything sold out instantly. Whereas I've had a surprisingly high success rate while using a service that I myself am not in control of. I have to place my orders like eight hours in advance, wake up, hope that they got the order in, and then place the money and then hope they buy it in time. And you know what? I've only not been able to get like one FUMO out of all the ones I have. So there you go. Also, I'm, I'm done playing this for now. It's a neat game. A uh, little... <laughs> A little brain dead at the moment, I suppose, but I don't, I, maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just brain dead at the moment. But so far, the game has been playing itself pretty handily. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. It's cute. It looks nice. I don't really comprehend the story. I will continue to play it. I, I do expect it to get more difficult down the line, but right now, as it is, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I, I need to, I honestly can't say I recommend it right now. I think I need to see further into the game. Because as you can see, my method of play is very, very fucking barbarian. Where I just, you know, unga bunga, beat stick everything. And it's been working to surprising results. And if the entire game is kind of like that, then it's, you know, that's hard to really push for it. But if it does, you know, if it starts actually making me have to turn the cogs that haven't turned in years kind of deal then it's probably worth your time because the idea of the tactics is really cool there seems to be a lot of like uh stuff with the composition equipped and all the items and whatnot there's a lot of stuff in the, the hud that you can make use of but right now i have uh, i've pretty much just been you know unga bungering my way through the entire game so we'll see if that changes but right now personally i'm enjoying it but as it is until i see how it gets further in i can't uh I cannot, at the, in good faith, recommend it at the moment. Could I hit the fucking button? How do I go back to the menu? Not saved by this command. There you go. Three fairies hopping, flapping, great journey. Alright, cool. We'll see what happened. We'll see what happened later.